Hello TCC and 7.0 fans. I'm here to talk quickly about what the practical applications of this new siege machine wall breaking thingamabob is. So, um, just to real quick go over some of the tenets of what this thing does. The idea is it's Trojan horse. So it Houses your clan castle troops, which means you really need to think about where your troops are going to go and what they're going to do. It's going to be different than just having bowlers behind your bow witch or having hogs in a mass hog raid. It's going to be about what's going to get to the core of that base and then make a difference from there on. Um, I'm going to show a quick video, even though it's a easy, friendly challenge. Uh, between DB and I, and here is uh, a basic troop comp of kind of a bow witch, right? With a couple of uh, baby dragons to set up the funnel. Um, in my clan castle, I have a P.E.K.K.A. and two giants. So it's much more of a tanky kind of castle, which wouldn't make sense for... <laughs> pretty much any application other than getting into that core and busting through. So we, here we have set that funnel. We've got bowlers coming in. We've got, uh, of course, that other baby dragon set in the funnel. Um, witches coming in and our heroes. I've got a couple of Valkyries to make sure that that other side is totally cut off. And finally, in comes that siege machine. I treat it almost like I would wall breakers. So it comes rather late the tanking is already set, and you're just kind of pushing through from there into the core. You're keeping it protected while it also protects your kill squad. So it has kind of a dual function, and I think it's important to note that it should be used primarily as a way to get as deep into the core as humanly possible. Whether that comes with it coming up front, or tanking one side, or whether it comes as kind of the tail end of what your kill squad would be, uh, i.e. Uh, all the various parts of the bowlers or witches or whatever that you want to follow up and make sure the main push takes care, uh, this is what it is. So, um, just to fast forward a little bit, we've now taken out Eagle, the entire core, the fucking town hall. They've pushed through the backside, the heroes are still kicking, and we have, I don't know, another 10% or whatever that we can get. And this is me, a really shitty Town Hall 10 on a Town Hall 11. And literally, that would not be thinkable without that siege cart, siege machine, wall eater. It's just uh, a great way to fuck shit up missing component in Town Hall 10. So here's another example of how that works in our great loss against Tai Chi. Um, I'm going to go down to, again, my attack on 10. I only use my attacks because I'm most it and the thought process behind it. Uh, in this case, so the siege machine goes for the Town Hall. It is going to bore through any walls or whatever else to get that objective done. Um, so if you can kind of funnel to make sure that it gets into the core, the rest of your troops get into the core, and then have something to back it up on the back end, whatever might be left, uh, then this is a fantastic way to use this. So in this case I'm starting out with some witches to start on this bottom end. A few boulders of course to make sure that they funnel where they're supposed to go. Uh, this baby dragon, which all it really needs to do is get that archer tower and then, which it does brilliantly. On the other side, I start a couple of witches, just start that funnel to build a little tank in. Uh, the golem onto that cannon there and the siege machine from way up top. So what I'm trying to do is build that parallel through the entire core of the base all the way to that town hall and everything backs it up. A rage, a heal, a poison. I just brought one poison. Notice I brought a freeze. 
for the other side of this base, so bring the spells that are necessary, baby. All right, another rage and another heal. I'm all the way through this base. Like, the core of this base is entirely gone. There is absolutely nothing left. A fair amount of my kill squad is up. My queen has her full ability. And in that clan castle, I used a P.E.K.K.A. and two giants. If you'll notice, those giants are still up. The P.E.K.K.A. has full health. My king has full health. My king has full health. I brought baby dragons in the backside, which wasn't the best decision because there was a ton of uh, seeking air mines. Whatever. Without the right scout, it's impossible to tell. And I didn't know. So, lucky. That didn't truly adversely affect this attack. Uh, my heroes, again, in that P.E.K.K.A., a few minions and whatnot are still up. To be able to make this a successful attack. Okay, so let's fast forward just so you can see that this is indeed a three star. But yeah, easy peasy. So I think one of the things to understand best about how to use the siege machine or whatever it is, is the geometry and getting it to what your main objectives are while realizing that what it really wants to do is to that town hall. So you have to adjust your uh, emphasis on troops and how you tank and how you um, move through the base, but the end result is you don't need a jump often, you don't need wall breakers at all, you don't need uh, a variety of other tricks that you might need to get through the entire core. So you can literally run spells that help your offensive troops the most. Rage and heal, perhaps freeze or whatever you need to get through the base, but you don't need all the other bullshit and that makes a Town Hall 10 three-star much more approachable. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you much.